Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Welcome back to Self Care Saturday. It's been a while since we published or posted an episode of Self Care Saturday. I thought that this would be a great time to come back to Self Care Saturday. This is the first Saturday after the US elections in November 2024. And I figured this would be a great time to uh, do a self-care Saturday episode. So this episode is post-election season self-care. All right. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but it's been the last two years of this uh, US presidential election has been exhausting. <laughs> it's been exhausting. And I've been, I've been around now for I've been voting since, what, the 90s? So this is not my first rodeo, but I feel like uh, the last two years was just a little bit extra. Um, so I think, I think it's important for us, because this is a channel for social workers and mental health professionals. I think it's important for all of us to check in with ourselves and, and just do an inventory. How, how are you doing? How are you doing uh, for yourself? And then we, we're, we're all working with clients and, and regardless of, of what, you know, what areas we're working with our clients on, whether it's uh, mental health, whether it's child protective services, substance use disorder, PTSD, whatever it is, you know, we've all, we've all been living in this presidential election season for the last two years or so and it comes up in therapy you know um, private practice you know working working uh, in a public sector agency our clients bring this stuff up and we have to deal with it we have to deal with their feelings about the you know the politicians and who's running for president and who's running for this office and that office and all these other issues that come in with that, you know, whether we're talking about um, these very emotionally charged issues, abortion, immigration, um, other things, you know, these are things that our clients bring into the therapy session. They have to deal with these issues and we have to deal with these issues, right? So I think it's I think it's important and I don't necessarily have any answers except I think it's important for us to reflect. You know, and of course the elephant in the room is at least 50% of the country is going to be very upset with the election results and 50% will be quite happy, right? And again, <laughs> our clients are on both sides of the aisle. We as therapists, as mental health professionals, as social workers are on both sides. Of course, some of, you know, some of our clients are independents. Some of us as therapists, social workers, mental health professionals are independents, right? So we have to deal with that aftermath also. I, I think that's even, that's probably even more important is the aftermath of how people are feeling after this election. Because again, 50, at least 50% of the country is gonna be very upset. And that's gonna include many of our clients. Whether they're, you know, if, if, the, uh, if Team Red wins, again, I'm, I'm taping this episode before election day 2024, so. If Team Red wins, 
then our clients that are in the team blue are going to be very upset they're going to they're going to be expressing all kind of emotions anxiety fear depression hopelessness and likewise if team blue wins again our clients that are on the red side are, are going to be feeling all kind of emotions as well including anger they're going to they're going to be feeling like uh the election was rigged or stolen and you know things that we saw back in 2020 right and we have to deal with this as therapists as social workers as mental health professionals and of course we have to deal with our own feelings about whatever the re election results are we're gonna have to be dealing with our own feelings right so i guess here are some takeaways uh from this video Again, it's important to check in with ourselves and to be honest with ourselves um, about how we're feeling about the past 18 to 24 months and how we're feeling after, you know, after election day, 2024. How are we feeling about those results, the election results? You know, because as much as we try to, as, as much as we try to remain neutral and objective when we're working with our clients, we're still human beings. You know, we still bring our own um, intersectional subjectivity, our own biases, you know, whatever. And, uh, and we have to kind of be honest with ourselves about how we're feeling about the election results. And, you know, we also have to provide a safe space for our clients to process what they're going through, what they're experiencing right it's it's not going to be easy um so i think i think we're all going to have to practice a lot of patience a lot of self-compassion a lot of compassion you know because we may be working with clients that that are on the other side of the political spectrum from us and our transference is going to come out counter transference Actually, transference is, is, is what the clients project on us, right? And counter-transference is, is, is what, we're, um, what we're seeing in our clients that may remind us of our relationships with other, you know, other people in our lives, right? So we're, gonna, we're, we're all going to be feeling a lot of, a lot of emotions. We are, we're all feeling a lot of emotions right now in the aftermath of the 2024 U.S. presidential elections. So let's all practice self-compassion, patience, humanity, all right. Well, I'm gonna stop right there, but I wanna thank you all for watching this video. For all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day, for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. And bye for now.